is going on fish keepers okay so today so these are yellow rabbits <laughs> I have my what is going on fish keepers okay so today we're gonna to be talking about rabbit snails now I recently purchased three rabbit snails had them for about I want to say about like two weeks um, I got them for eight dollars a piece so they're kind of expensive but they're cool looking so um, meet y'all in the fish room all right guys uh, don't mind all this mess I've been dealing with stuff um, doing water change and everything. I have my rabbit snails in this tank. There is one, two. I don't know where the third one is. Usually they barrel underneath the sand. Uh, they don't do good. They don't do good in gravel. Uh, they prefer uh, the sand. Easier for them to barrel. Uh, they don't. Crap! I'm not dropping this crap. Uh, anyways. They don't go for live plants other than other than java fern. But other than that, they will eat the I want to say decaying plant matter and stuff. So that's good. Um, this is usually what they do. Just like sit there and stuff. Um, but when they do come out, it's actually pretty cool. I think this guy's about to come out. Yeah. So these are yellow rabbit snails. And they're I mean they're pretty they're pretty cool. Um They're also called elephant snails. Oh dang, I just scared them. Um They have I guess you can say like a trap door looking thing. Uh, I don't know if I can see it. No. I gotta be like fully curled up in there. But anyways, this is why I'm making this video. Oh, I'm so excited if I can see him. Cause this little guy right there. I don't know if I can zoom in on him. This little guy right there. So that tells me that I have a male and a female in there. Which is pretty cool. So I'll be keeping these and I won't be selling them. But look at this little guy. And I was so stoked. I was like, I saw an egg, but I, I didn't know what it was from. And then I did some research and I was like, oh crap. So Um, their eggs are clear and they're kind of huge in a way. So if you see, if you have these rabbit snails, sorry the video cut off. But anyways, if you have these rabbit snails and you see like clear, they like it's like a looks like a sack, but there's only one rabbit snail per sack. So if you see that, don't throw it away. Now the way they breed is they're real slow breeders. Um, they lay eggs, I believe, once a month or twice a month, something like that. So they're real slow, so they won't overpopulate your tank, which is one reason why I got these guys. But I mean, that's pretty much all they do. So. Okay. So I have my rabbit snails. Usually. They, I heard they prefer the cold, but these guys are doing pretty good. I have mine about, I want to say about like 65 degrees in here. Um, 68 around there. The highest it gets is about like 72. And uh, they're doing good so far. Uh, they prefer, I want to say pH about 8. And that's usually what I have right now. Um, but like I said, they, they do prefer the sand. So that way they can borrow and stuff. That's why I can't find this other guy. He's probably in between all this java moss and stuff. Um, I guess you can have them with guppies. They haven't picked at them or anything. Like I said, they haven't picked at this little guy over there. Um, I did have a puffer fish. I had to get him out because, you know, 
that, that would not be a good combination so <laughs> but other than that that's pretty much it that's all I wanted to show you I know this is going to be a short clip for the day but um, just thought I'd throw one out there and if y'all haven't subscribed or anything but down below go ahead and do that it helped me a lot and um I hope y'all um if y'all enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe down below and like always stay fresh it is